we're out of Lake Wanjiran. Might get a little bit of rain this half, but this is what it's like when you get up the top end. Pretty cool, eh? Still looking for the elusive bass. We just got some baits out here and have a look, and a few dogfish. But uh, yeah, we'll see what the afternoon brings. Me and the boy have fished up in here a fair bit. Nice little creek, this one. Heads right up into the bush. See that? It's got the lines out. Hey, Grumpy. All right, let's see what happens. What have we here? Hooked up bloody something. I'm going around a log. When you bass it, come on now. Here we go. Oh, four. Yeah, I'll take the big doggy while he's fighting. Yep. Ah, these are good fun. You've got nothing better to do with your day. These are a great way to kill a couple of hours. You know, forktail catfish, or as we call them, a dogfish. See you, dude. Leave heaps of slime on your line. Oh, we'll get another hook on and then we'll see how we go again. Looks like the boss is into one. Great way to kill an afternoon playing with these things. We're just waiting for the get a bit cooler before we go chasing a barra. Got one last night. I'm hoping to get another one tonight. But uh, yeah, this is a great little way to, to kill the afternoon. These things are fun on light line. There we go. Ugly as sin. Yeah, nice little fish, about three parts per kilo or so. They eat them up in Western Australia, they call them silver cobbler. But there's not enough on them to make it worth your while. Alright, well, we'll try all that again. I don't know one on, not a fish on here, but he's, oh, down under a log. He got me. Bastard. Yeah. Oh, well. Try, try again. Boss is on again. A bit. A bit of storm clouds coming. We might get another shower this afternoon, a bit of luck. Peed down yesterday while I was fishing. Fish love that. Ah, little fella. Stop wriggling, dude. Turn here. Hell of eight pound braid. She can take a bit of a pizzling. I had a white pilly on that time. Believe it or not, the best bait up in these creeks is the saltwater bait from down home. Saltwater yabbies or white pillies, prawns. got the yabby traps out but I haven't really caught much in over here in the last 20 years I've probably already caught one or two prawns 
but we'll see what happens. There's a nice little uh, rock ledge over there. We'll see if we can get a couple of live prawns. Bit of fun on light gear. There it is. Hooked in the mouth this time. That's good. That's what circle looks are supposed to do. It's only a little fella. Now, if you haven't caught these before, these things have got some nasty spines. So that, that's one there, one on the top, and one on that side. They're the only three. It's like a, uh, like a bloody uh, stingray spine or a, or a bloody stonefish or something like that. They just hurt like hell for ages. That's about the only safe way of picking them up without getting getting chomped. See the little fella. So I brought some white pillies up this time. I thought I might be able to find some bass, but every time I fish a big school of fish in the last couple of days, all I found is dogfish. So I'll put another white pilly on there and we'll see what happens. Got your bass up here somewhere, surely. Look at that nice little bait. No sinker. Let's flick him out and see what happens. Oh. I know what it is, eh? <laughs> a lot of people call them catfish. I've never heard one meow yet. Hey? I've only ever heard them bark. That's why we call them dogfish. There he is. See, I don't wait as long for Dida to set the hook, so mine don't tend to swallow it as much. There we go. Come here, shit head. Awesome in your crab pots. Uh, you went down home around Wardell, put that in your crab pot, you get plenty of crabs. We can use that bait again. Let it out a little, just pull it. Just pull it. That's all right. Like most of my clients, Di's got a problem with winding up too far. Keep a meter. From the swivel. I can't see the water's so dirty. Yeah. Just had a bloody fish roll on top of the water beside us here. Don't think it was one of these things. Oh, geez, it was a big fish. That's a big doggy. We're not going to hurt each other. There we go. What that fish was. Had one roll over on the water last night. I know what well, I know what last night's was. Had a barrel right up beside the boat, roll over on the surface. You know what that one was though? Oh. Yeah, it's starting to get a bit blowy, there's a big storm coming up behind us. things. We need to find a use for them. <laughs> 